Okay, hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. I am a body neutral certified personal trainer, performance enhancement specialist, and corrective exercise specialist. I am also an elite level power lifter, and something you might not know about me is my boyfriend Joe and I are avid hikers. So this week we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna take you with us through our hike up Mount Seymour. Seymour Mountain. Seymour Mountain. I keep getting that wrong. I think I say it wrong in the vlog too. <laughs> So we're going to take you with us through our hike up Seymour Mountain. Oh my God. It says it on the sign. I know. We have hiked 25 out of the 46 high peaks in the Adirondacks. And this weekend we're going to be hitting number 26. Hmm. Yawny boy. Joe has the stats of our hike. It's going to be. Uh, it's like 14 miles and like 2,800 feet elevation gain. It's not too bad. Not too bad. We're gonna do an easier hike this weekend because we are trying out our new hammocks for the first time. So we're trying to transition from tent camping into hammock camping. And Joe's been practicing his knots all week and he's excited. A little boy scout. A little boy scout. <laughs> so I'm excited, he's excited, and I can't wait to take you along with us. Here we go. Baby's car sick. <laughs> You're saying hi? So we're hoping that there's nobody at the first campsite because if the first campsite is taken, we have to walk an extra three miles to the next campsite. I might cry. So. And Joe might cry. So fingers crossed that there's nobody <laughs> at the first campsite. <laughs> Moment of truth. I don't um, want to jinx it, but things are looking promising. Things are looking promising. Yay! This is it. This is the whole thing. We have a little fire pit over here because we are allowed to have fires in this particular range. And then we could put our hammocks over there or we could put them here as well. We just need a good triangle of trees. So let's start setting up camp and we'll see what's up. We have to set up our hammocks for the first time and we need three trees right so because we want to be close together so our options are no i want to be close together <laughs> <laughs> our options are this tree this tree and this tree okay which makes a perfect triangle right so okay. like our heads would be like right here okay most likely or our feet would be right here you know, sure. our heads could be up here, but there's like firewood and stuff here, so. Or? Or, all the way over here, we could be head to head right here off this tree, tied off at the foot at that tree and this tree. Is that tree strong enough? Yeah, 100%. This guy, see, this guy already tied off on that tree. He left the straps here like a dick. <laughs> You're not supposed to leave your straps here. And because if you have to get up in the middle of the night, you're not gonna eat shit over stuff because it's flatter. Yeah. But also, you're gonna we're gonna be hanging like over these shrubs and stuff. Huh. I might be second guessing this one. I think I like the other one better. Because if we're gonna be hanging I like here, the other one better too. The other one it is. <laughs> Look at him! Hi, buddy! Look at 
his little booty. Look at his little booty go. Hi, sweetie. You're going to be our roommate tonight. Good job, babes. Joe's been practicing his knots all week. Nope. <laughs> our tarps up. Okay, our hammocks are all set up. Thanks to Joe and no thanks to me. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, but they're good. They'll, they'll survive the night. So. They stay up, so that's okay. It's our first time. You're not supposed to be a pro at things the first time that you do it, so we're learning. Um, we're gonna make a fire, so I'm gonna go collect firewood while Joe rests because <laughs> he did all of camp, and then we'll sit by the fire together. Okay, sorry for the bright light. We are sitting and having some dinner. We have our bear can here and our headlamps. We're just gonna snack and then we're hopefully gonna head to bed. And then we're gonna wake up nice and early and get to it. about 7 15 ish we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna pack our snacks that we want to take with us up the mountain and then we're gonna hit the trail let's do it Today's hike stats are brought to you by Joe. Like 12 miles and only like 2,800 feet elevation gain. Not bad. Hopefully we can make pretty good time and hopefully the view is good today. <laughs>
You're so cute. Me? Yeah, you. Okay, we found a nice little, nice little table. Look at this. Um, we are about 0.1 miles from the base of the mountain, and then it's like a mile and a half to the summit with a little bit less than 2,000 feet elevation gain. So it's steep. big, it's steep, steep, but it's not that bad. We'll survive. I hear there's lots of scrambles. I like a good scramble, so we'll see how it is. Right now, we're just gonna rest and charge up for the ascent. Okay, this Karen here marks our trailhead, so we go here up. we go. So we were just talking to a guy at the picnic table where we were sitting, and he was asking us what our favorite hikes were because he is a 46er, so he's done all Winter of the 46. 46 it sounded like. Yeah, he's done all of the 46 high peaks, and he was asking us what our favorites were, and I know that that was a question that some of you guys had. So my favorite hike that we've ever done is we did saw teeth gothics pyramid and armstrong in a day and it was amazing it is a view that i still think about to this day like you're standing on the summit of pyramid just looking at these huge slides and you can see just for miles so that was my favorite hike and then joe's favorite hike what's your favorite hike haystack uh mount haystack uh, it's the closest thing to climbing that we've ever done out here, like actual climbing. Um, and it was hard, it kicked my ass. soundtrack. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the woods. It's so peaceful. Babes. Damn. I'm starting to forget why we do this.
right, we just got back to camp. It is 6.47 p.m., I believe. We're gonna take a quick breather and then we're gonna tear down camp and pack it out and get out of here. I don't know what I was gonna say. It's about a five-ish hour drive. Look at how dirty my hands are. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's about a five-ish hour drive home for us, so we will be getting home at the wee early hours in the morning, but there will be food and a shower and a cozy bed waiting for me, so. And the cats. And the cats, so that's all we could ask for. I will see y'all when we get back home. One and a half miles to the car. Here we go. you guys that was a real <laughs> why are you standing like that it's more comfortable <laughs> all right you guys that was that was a really good hike i had so much fun did you have fun yes did you think it was harder or easy was it easier or harder than you thought it was gonna be harder probably the scrambles yeah. were tough okay the those scrambles they caught me off guard those were like really advanced scrambles um the drive home yeah. <laughs> we literally I would drive for like 30 minutes and then I'd be like you have to drive and then he would drive and he'd be like you have to drive and we would literally go back and forth from driving to passing out in the passenger seat I so that we'll stay up there next time yeah that was not a good idea on our end we'll probably stay at my parents house next time because that was a brutal drive home but other than that it was a great hike I had fun Joe had fun and now we're home and clean and fed so Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye!